Good morning. Happy Monday morning. First of all, I feel amazing. Okay. I pray that you guys feel amazing as well. I've been getting so much revelation and so many like downloads back to back to back to back. And I'm excited about it. Um, I'm excited. I, I believe that when, you know, God begins to lay specific things on my heart, it is for my people. And so you guys know that you're my people. And so I'm just going to share some of those things with you. Um, I did a post earlier and I used a term called sphere of influence. And we're going to break that down and make it really simple and plain for you on today. Um, but you see in the title, like, where, where are your customers? We're going to talk about where your customers are today. I'm trying to see if there's a strong possibility that I can... If this is going to let me share this out, I thought I'd get a notification. But if you come on, do me a couple favors while you're on. One, if I say something that helps your business or your life, because we get our whole life over here. I'm a transformational growth strategist, business coach, and mentor, and we get our whole life. If I say something that helps your business or your life, tap the screen for hearts. Show your girl a little love. Second. There's a little button, I believe it's on the left-hand side if you're on Facebook. Um, press that. You can share it out. If you're on YouTube, I'm not sure where that's located, but please, you can share that out as well. And for those of you on YouTube, you can subscribe and you can always get um, weekly uh, conversations with me for business and life growth. And um, for those of you who might be on Instagram, um, you can always DM me. You got questions or anything of that nature about what we talked about. But I want to talk about um, where your clients are and the fact that <clears throat> getting clients <clears throat> is not about chasing, it's about attracting. Getting clients is not about chasing clients, uh, your team, whatever it is that you're wanting to build as it relates to people. It's not about chasing, it's about attracting. And I know firsthand the difference in chasing customers and attracting them into your business. Um, also with staff. So I saw this post um, earlier inside a group and there was a young lady who owns a business and she was talking about <clears throat> um, her team members. And, you know, she has two in particular that you know, she's a little uncomfortable with. Now, she made it known that she knows exactly what she needs to do. However, she just, it's a group. People can converse and, you know, um, collaborate and talk. And so she took advantage of the accountability and the support in the group. And she wanted to just simply talk about it. And what she shared really set home with me. She um, had one particular person who worked with her for over five years. And when the person started, um, well, maybe they've been with them eight or nine years, <clears throat> but when the person first started, they weren't good. They weren't making a lot of sales. And at this point, this person is like a top earner in her business. But what's happened during the time of them growing and evolving, they kind of got the big head. Now, I know how it is to get the big head because I got it when I first started out. I was doing a lot of customers, bringing in a lot of sales, and I stepped out on my own a little bit too soon. Now, not too soon in time, but too soon for the information that I knew. But this wasn't the type of big head that this you know, person on her team had gotten. This person began to be like the mean girl, the, the person who was spreading rumors and you know, just kind of being the bad apple in the place. And when I was reading what she was sharing, I said to myself, what is occurring here is the leader has evolved but she hasn't allowed her brand to evolve with her. And what happens whenever we are in a space where we've evolved personally some of our thoughts and things that we desire and even what's needed to grow the business when that has changed, but we have not implemented those things in our business, we start to feel exactly the way that she was feeling. <clears throat> and she expressed the fact that um, although, you know, it was two individuals actually, but one that she spoke about more than the other. She said, although these people were top earners in her company, she knew she what she needed to do. And I am 
so at a space where who my client is, is just as important as the number of clients that I have. Because you all know you can have people who schedule with you, um, people who buy your products and services, and then there's always some issue with them that either slows up progress, slows up profits, or slows up production. And so I don't believe that just having any old customer, any old client, um, is what is really going to grow your business to the measure that you desire for it to grow. And so I want to talk about four reasons why you're not getting the clients that you deserve one and that you desire. Why you're not attracting the people into your space, in your even in your whole life, right? You know, we get our whole life over here. Why you're not attracting those people and why it feels like you're actually chasing, you're actually, um, you know, going above and beyond to get people to accept you or to understand the value in what you offer or what you bring to the table. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about like four things, maybe five, <clears throat> that are the reasons why this is occurring. And, and this reason here, so... In this online space, if you're marketing online, which if you're watching me on this video, I'm sure that you've been making some attempts to market online or you do market your business online. It's so easy for people to not understand who you are as a brand. Like it's really, really easy. So, so many entrepreneurs have been inundated with the thought that if I'm good at this thing, I automatically will have clients and customers, right? Now, I believe in becoming an expert. I believe that it's a huge part of the attraction to that people have to come and do business with you, you know, buy your products, come get services with you, however you, you operate. I believe it is a big portion. I believe that <clears throat> you know, a big percentage of what you do should be to strive to become an expert and really good. Hey V, how are you dear? And what it is that you do, right? I believe that fully. But a lot of, you have to understand when you're marketing on this online space or even the fact that the online space exists, even offline, we have people who are online all the time. Do you guys get that? So even when you're marketing and advertising offline, you got to know that these same people, the majority of them, Facebook has billions of people watching at any given moment. So these same people are also experiencing an online space with tons of people who do something very similar to what you do, right? And so one of the reasons why you're not getting the clients that you desire, clients, team member, whatever the space is of people that you want to attract into your business. Remember, there's a difference in chasing clients and team members and actually attracting them. But one of the reasons is they don't understand what you do. So maybe you're a realtor, maybe you're a personal stylist, maybe you're a hairstylist, maybe you're a salon owner, um, you're a coach, whatever it is that you do, you uh, a photographer, um, maybe you have a boutique, whatever it is that you do, right? That is not who you are. I'm going to say that one more time. What you do is not who you are. And when it comes to branding, branding is about who you are and who the marketplace says that you are. And so many times we take the craft that we do and we think that that is enough when we're marketing. I'm a hairstylist. I'm a salon owner. I'm a personal stylist. I'm a realtor. I'm a coach. I run an online business. We take that as being able to explain who we are, but it's so much bigger than that. For instance, I am a, a growth strategist, transformational growth strategist, a business coach, and mentor. How many coaches have you all run across on social media? Tons of them. I mean, there are so many uh, coaches on social media now, but they don't do what it is that I do, right? And so if people can understand what it is that you do, so I help my clients create simple systems. 
sometimes I hear people explaining systems to people about what they need to do in their business and what they're explaining is so complicated <clears throat> until I'm like, that would run me away, right? That would run me away. Now, I didn't say easy. I said simple systems because easy and simple is two different things. Most of the time, if it's easy, it's not going to produce whatever it is that you needed to do. But I help people to simplify their business and create systems that are going to, one, allow them um, the clarity to work on the right things, right? Because we can work on a whole lot of things. Um, it allows them to save time, create time freedom in their life, and increase their profits. So when people come and watch me, those are some things that they know they can get from my broadcast and my clients who come to work with me. They, they they're going to have more time freedom, they're going to make more money, and they're going to have systems that make their business and their life easier, right? So those are some of the benefits that people get from working with me. So, you know, they're able to spend more time with their children. They're able to take vacations. They're able to um, not necessarily trade their time for dollars. And one of the huge things that, you know, is a benefit of is a change of, of mindset. I had a client... And I'm I'm going somewhere with you guys because when people don't understand what you do, so you may say your craft is what you do, but how do they benefit from coming to you for that particular service or for that particular product? You need to be able to express that in your messaging, in your marketing, how people benefit. So that's one reason that you're not getting the perfect people. And I say perfect people because we can get clients from anywhere, right? But they may not align with who we are and where we desire for our business to go and grow. So I had a client uh, connect with me recently. We were conversing through email. And one of the things she shared was uh, two of the new strategies that she's working on. And when I read the strategies that she's been working with me for a few years, I said, her strategies are on a whole nother level, right? They're not even... Um, they're just on a completely different level from what they were when we began working together. So I'm sharing this because people also have to know the value and what they're going to receive from you. And that's number two. People don't see the value in what they're going to receive from working with you, becoming your client, becoming your customer, buying your product as opposed to someone else's product. And so one of the things I focus on is abundance mindset. So when I teach those strategies and thought processes, there's transformation that occurs with my clients that rolls over into everything they do even later. Like the strategies that she was mentioning are going to create hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, continuously over time. So I don't do transactional work. I do transformational work. So when people work with me or um, connect with me, they understand the value in what they're investing is, is long-term. What value sh do you express to, you know, someone who's coming to get a service with you? Do they see the value in what it is that you offer in your products and your services? So they have to see the value. This is another reason why you're not getting the customers that you desire or even the team that you desire. And I'm going to stay on team for just a moment because I've had, you know, several people who have team members and um, team members who are either paying like they should or earning revenue, but they still are uncomfortable with those team members because they don't fit the vision, right? And so you can have people working with you who, you know, they pay, they're on time or uh, they're earning revenue, but they don't fit the vision. So all of it needs to be a full circle, you know, thing going on. And what I see is leaders who have evolved in their mind, but not allowed it to come across in their brand. And so when you rise up to who you need to be, all of it is about being the clients that you want. They're already there. They already exist. You just need to be or step into a space of being that, that you're actually attracting them into your business. Does that make sense for you all? For every new level that I desire to go, I have to look at it. Who do I need to be in order to attract these people into my business, to attract these people into my vision, to attract these people into my life? 
And so people need to see the value of what it is that you bring. So for me, it would be transformational, expansion, um, you know, things of that nature. People understand that working with me is transformative to their entire life. So I attract clients who not only want to get their business, right? They want to get their whole life. They want to create a business that funds their lifestyle and not runs their lifestyle, right? And so that's a huge part of the value that I bring for my clients. So here's a couple of things you can ask when you're thinking about the value that you offer for the client. So does your service or product, does it save them time? Does it make them feel better? Does it make their, their life easier? All of those are benefits that people will see and align with the value that you bring to the table. Does that make sense to you guys, right? Tap the screen if that makes sense to you all, even if you come back on the in the comments. So the, here, these are reasons why you're not getting the clients that you desire, why you're not attracting them, and it feels more like a chase. Clients, team members, you know, whatever that may be for you. Uh, the next thing is a, there's a lack of awareness. So people cannot become attracted to something that they're not aware about. They can't become attracted to it. If you notice, the people who seem to need more revenue the least are showing up the most. My goodness. The people who seem to need revenue the least are showing up the most or they're showing up in the biggest way because they've made this a lifestyle of bringing awareness to what they what it is that they offer for me because I understand how people's lives change the inbox messages that I get the uh, testimonials from my clients the transformation I get to see with my clients I want more people to experience this I understand right that I have a purpose my business has a value beyond just the craft of coaching and I understand how lives are changed. And so there's something on the inside of me that wants to put my business out in front of more people to help more people. So there's a lack of awareness about what it is that you do or what you offer, right? So your message in your marketing needs to speak to that individual. Um, and if you look on the beginning of this broadcast, it'll say sphere of influence. Each and every one of you have a specific sphere of influence. And what that is, is a specific group, audience, um, uh, territory of people that you're called to serve. And when you get clear about who those people are, you can speak more directly to those people. Listen, we were created to, to gain dominion or to dominate in those areas. The fullness, and I'll share that in, in the end, but if you're not marketing to the right people, if you're not bringing awareness to your business, the people won't know that you're there. So if you're not getting the customers that you desire, there's a lack of awareness about what you offer that your perfect people need to hear because they're waiting on you. I had a client email me and tell me how much her business and her life has changed because I decided to say yes to the vision that I have for my life and my business, which helped her life and her business, right? And so because I understand the value and how transformational it is for people outside of just their business, there's an urgency that I have to want to come on and share, you know, what it is that I have to offer and how it changes your business and your life because I know there are people waiting for that transformation. So is there a lack of awareness about what it is that you actually do? Is your message even clear, right? To the specific sphere of influence that you're called to rule and um, have dominion in. And next, and this is probably a big one. So how easy is it to get your products and services? How easy is it to get your products and services? When I thought about sharing this particular, and these are reasons why you're not getting the clients that you desire, I thought about, this has probably been about three or four years ago, a business owner connected with me, they sell a product. And their system for getting their product to their customer was the, the customer had to email them. Um, they had to get their address, send them a money order. Guys, 
When's the last time we use money orders? For, you know, exchanging products and things online. Is your product accessible? Now, you know, that was maybe three or four years ago, but even at that time, the amount of energy that the customer had to do in order to get this small product that wasn't even a $20 product, maybe $20, $25 product. Um, now, there were customers purchasing, but there was a lot of money being left on the table, I promise you. Because when, when it's difficult for people to get your product, your service, and this may go for some of you who say you're booked all the time. Eventually, right, life happens with clients. We're talking about service-based business owners. They change, they move, they leave. And if everybody always thinks that you're booked, they're going to somewhere else. So there's a system that you do when you start seeing this um, consistent being booked out for a month, two, three months, so that you can filter in some new people into your business cycle, right? So being booked and busy is not always the best thing for a business that's looking to really, really grow and evolve. But how easy is it for people to get your products and services? Is the process hard or, you know, do you have the simplest system in place that makes the transaction easy? Is your business accessible? And all of this, guys, really comes from knowing who you are. There's so many people now who are accepting um, last year's uh, rewards because they haven't moved into a space of alignment with who they've evolved into, right? So, so what they're accepting is from their old man, who they used to be, right? The things that they used to either settle for, deal with, put up with. You know, I, I feel like one of the biggest things is definitely our vision. And if you follow me, you know, I talk about that all the time. But if you don't have a vision, you always revert back to your past. Without a clear vision, you always revert back to your class, whether it to your past, whether it's your past policies, the past, you know, type of customers and clients that you're accepting into your business. I, I know this one business, of course, I wouldn't call any names, but this business has an amazing um, uniqueness about their brand. But because they don't know who they are, because they are not clear on their value and their worth, they continue to do low level things that will not bring those clients that would really, really, really find value in what it is that they offer. So much of what we're doing and attracting and, and getting into our business is based on our clarity on who we are. It's one of the reasons I love branding. And one of the, the main focuses in the beginning of my process of working with my clients is brand clarity. Because so many people don't really understand their value um, in the marketplace. And because they don't, they don't position themselves in front of the people that would actually um, be their perfect people, make the exchange and do business with them. So just know that you're created for dominion, one. You're created by the creator himself. And there's a power on the inside of you that people will um, gravitate towards. There's an attraction that will begin to happen when you really, really understand who you are as a brand. And it moves from being a chase into a space of attraction. So those are four reasons. I'll kind of recap them again. Why you aren't seeing the clients or even the team member that you desire to bring into your space. Um, one, people don't understand what it is that you do. Um, all these visuals keep popping up in my head. And one of the reasons is because you're doing so many different things. People are like, oh, I like... I'm going to like that post, but I don't really know what it is that they do. What do they specialize in? People are looking for specialists. People are looking for experts. And one of the reasons they're looking for that is because the, play, the marketplace is so flooded. And so what's unique about you and specific about your brand that's going to cause you to stand out and attract the people who are looking for exactly what it is, what it is that you do? Right. So when you're doing 5000 things, people may like things on social media, but if they aren't clear about what it is that you do. So people know I help um, women to grow their business, create new time, freedom, more profits and systems that allow them uh, to put their time and energy into the things that they love. Uh, they know that I focus on mindset and abundance. They if people are if people understand the benefits, which, you know, I express that in my 
marketing of what I do, then they see the value and then they make the exchange. Do, do you guys get that? But if I said I bake cakes, I wash cars, um, or I was just real general in what it is that I do, brand build and profit, brand build and profit, right? And then I focus from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building, brand build and profit. What is specific about what you do for your customers? How do they benefit? So do they understand what you do? Um, the number two reason is there's a lack of awareness. Are you really putting your, are you rising up to the occasion? Are you showing up or are you just saying in your head, I don't have the clients that I want? Or, or are you in alignment of positioning yourself to actually receive those clients, right? Customers, people buying your products and services. How easy is it? And this is the next one. Are your products and services accessible? Do you have the best systems in place to be able to onboard people into your client attraction system and convert them into customers, get the coin, give them the product and, and do business? And at least they and what it is that you do. So how you offer your clients, do you save them time? Do you save them money? Do you make life easier for them? What are the benefits of them working with you in whatever capacity you offer um, your brand products and services? That is my take on today. For those of you who are like, I need to be more clear in this. Don't go into 2020 without clarity, right? Clarity on your sphere of influence is going to shift so much for you guys. The comparison trap is going to move out the way you're going to get in your own zone of genius and rock out there. Don't go into 2020 without clarity. If you are unclear, I invite you to schedule a complimentary call with me, bit.ly slash your clarity. What is it that you need to get clear on so that you can put more of your time, energy, efforts, and resources there so you can see profits quicker, sooner, faster, attract more clients, and stop chasing them. That's my take on today. You guys have a super amazing day. Hope that helps. I gave you four things, uh, four reasons why you're not attracting your perfect people or your clients. And I want you to understand that you have a unique sphere of influence. I go really, really deep into this with my mastermind clients, um, helping them to define what their sphere of influence is so that their messages, their marketing, and their branding speaks to their perfect people and they convert clients quicker, sooner, faster, or team members or whatever it is they desire to attract into their life and their business. Have an amazing day.